Hi guys, this is Patty Joyce again. Today I want to talk to you about wig caps. So many of you have called in, have asked questions, and you know what we believe from, from day one here. Knowledge is power. And to solve the hair loss problems that we have, and I know that they're abundant, and I know that they, um, they can be very upsetting. But the wig industry has provided us with options. But I want to make sure that you understand those options. So we're going to take time out today, and I'm going to show you three caps. What they are, how they work, if you like them or you don't like them. But at least you know what they are, and you can make your own decisions. The first one is what the wig industry had in the very beginning, many, many years ago. We call it our classic, traditional cap. And this is Jessica. She's in our classic line on the website, traditional. And she's a beautiful, beautiful wig, bangs and so forth. But she is a, excuse me guys, my back. She is a cap that is called traditional classic which I told you some of it can be open like this some of it can be covered like this with lace and it is a um, all machine made piece now what does that mean it means even though it's all machine made you can see how there's hair inside that's coming outside that makes the sides look ever so much better and you can see it does the same thing on the sides over here with the ear tab. But what it does do that some of you uh, are dismayed with, in fact, some of you have even called and said, my wig's defective, my wig's defective. And the point is, precious one, you probably bought the wrong wig cap that you wanted. Okay, now let's look. You see the permateasing in here? What that accomplishes is, of course, silhouette, direction, curl pattern, and if you want a machine cap, be ready to brush it back like so. I hope you can get this. I'll use a brush, love. Brush it back like this, and then tap it. Remember on my videos, I've shown you tap, tap, tap. And what the wig brush does is it brings that hair or that fiber up so you don't see the permatease. If you're going to brush it down flat on that way and that way, can you get in there and see? You're going to see those permateases. And you can either ignore them and just say, well, you know, I backcomb my hair. A lot of girls' hair looks like that. Or take the brush or the comb and go gently over it and then tap and look. Usually machine made with the permatease like this is a fuller, more bouffant wig. All right, now the next thing to come down the pike was glory of glory, the monofilament top. The monofilament top was hand tied and is hand tied and they have this little kind of a hook and rug kind of needle and it goes around in this little six edged lace and then you hook it. And what happens is all of a sudden you don't have any permatees on the top but you can see your scalp. So when you look down you see the scalp. Can you see that? We did it with a black wig so hopefully you can see the scalp. And if you look very closely, there's the scalp, but what isn't there? Permatease. You can still get the volume because it's built into the curl pattern if you want it. If you don't want it, you can comb it down as flat as you please. And there it is. That's the monotop. Then along came the Smart Lace. Smart Lace is and was a rage. And some people love it, some people hate it, and they just cut the sucker off. You be the judge. But here's what it is. Do you see this lace that's on top of the monotop? Can you see that? What it is, is you can see through it. 
and it's a six-edged lace from Switzerland. It's a Swiss lace, and the two pieces are gridded together so that when you do this, you take your Swiss lace. Can you come up on me, V? And it's right there at my hairline, and you hold it like this, and you count for about 20 to 30. Don't do it on top of the wig. You don't want to flatten or mess up your wig. Under. Count to about 30. Press and print. And all of a sudden, I usually circle a little bit to bring those little bitty hairs out so it looks more natural. And all of a sudden, you don't have to wear bangs anymore. You don't have to wear a pixie all the time and cover up the whole wig because it's all hand done and the top is hand done. That is a monotop. Now, the monotop for the Heidi is approximately 3, 350 in that area. It's long, it's monotop. So as the caps go up, so does the price, unfortunately. Why? Because of labor. It's very simple. Now, we get to the creme de la creme. This cap used to be reserved simply for the best of the best human hair wigs. It is monotop. This is our precious Julianne. See how it moves. I've got it on. See how it moves. Why? Because every strand to never more than three strands are hand tied in this wig. This is a hand tied cap. Probably you're looking at between four and five hundred, four fifty around in that range because again of the labor. The person who is making this takes no more than three strands, puts them through and knots them. What does that do for you? Well, number one, you can see your scalp. It's multi-directional. You can part the scalp any way that you want. I'm using the comb because I don't want to brush through all this wonderful beachy wave. Or the cap itself, if you're bald like I am, oh, beautiful, beautiful. It's cooler, it's lightweight, and I gotta tell you, after about five minutes, I don't realize I have a wig on. <laughs> it is so wonderful. So if you want to be spoiled and then make every other wig be sick around you, you know, go to hand tied. Truthfully, I wear hand tied, machine made, cat, traditional, I wear them all. But now you know, you have the knowledge. So when the cap says, hand tied cap, mono top, lace front, you can come back to this video and you can say, oh, what is that? Now you know, babe. And you can make a better choice. Have a great day.